Leo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early to mid-September 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Leos. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my gods. Talk to me. What do we got for the beautiful Leo Collective here in early to mid-September? September, what's happening? What energies, messages, insights can we pull for our good friends? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Leo in early to mid-September. What's happening? What energies that we have floating around this week? Beautiful, loving, affectionate, very spiritual, which is something I've been seeing for the other fire signs as well. So this totally, totally makes sense to me. Um, this is a lovely soft energy to start a reading off with. Even if what we have coming up in tarot is a little dicey, I always feel like this is a great way to step off the reading. Now, before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the September subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk more about this card. So if you look at the finer details, we see this beautiful lady in the red head dress. She is snuggling up to that dove, that white bird. Now, in divination and in symbolism, white birds generally represent the spirit side, love and light type of energy. So we're talking angelic energy. We're talking ancestors, spirit guides, you name it, whatever label we want to put on it. This is love and care from spirit. So for some of you, maybe there is someone or something from the spirit side, like sending you love and affection or reassurance, which is a really nice energy to pick up. And it's been a little extra in the fire signs this week. I saw it for Aries. I'm seeing it for you. It's pretty powerful. Another thing here, though, I always say is it is affectionate. So for some Leos out there, maybe you're a little extra affectionate in this time. Maybe that's something you're craving. Maybe you need a big old hug, and I'll give you the big virtual Kyle Bear hug right there. But to me, whether it could even be someone you're connected to that might need a hug, all right, or just that human companionship, all right? So it's very affectionate and loving, though. I really do like it. Let's just leave it at that for now. Let's get into tarot and i always say the first card here it doesn't make or break the reading it's just a little footnote so let's get you three cards in the upright then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness shuffle it up one time here for the lovely leos my guides talk to me what's happening and while we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go let's talk about last week's reading strong powerful karmic energy seem to be at play and that could usually bleed over for a couple weeks at minimum the reading was titled big karmic change so for a lot of leos i mean you're either about to enter a big time of metamorphosis and change or you've been working through it for a while okay a lot of times when we're looking at karmic change it's part of our life's journey our life's path and I mean, sometimes we just got to play ball, right? So let's see what shows up for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going. Three cards to start us off for the beautiful Leos here. Thank you. Nice and quick. Page of Pentacles. So now we could be talking about new directions. We could also be learning a lot of things, but this is one of the big talkers. Of the whole entire tarot deck so i always get intrigued when that page of pentacles is the very first one out because it's talking about something thank you knight of cups all right so we're getting a lot of people here now leo lots of people and both are communicators so let's get one more out here and we'll start piecing this together thank you. ten of cups wow Okay, this might be good. I'm going to try to keep it as optimistic and not go overboard as much as possible, but I'm really liking the energies I'm picking up so far, Leo. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, I'm loving the elemental mix that we have. And for a lot of you that watch me on a week-to-week -week basis, you know I like to see how the elements play off each other. Notice we have a lot of water here. 
we have earth. And I always say when you mix water and earth, that is a recipe for prosperity. It's a recipe for abundance and something going your way. So there's a lot of potential in this spread. Notice we also have two court cards, which could be people. We have the Ten of Cups, which is multiple people. It's like people, people, people all over the place. So if you're in hermit mode right now, expect for your phone to start ringing. It's like giving me that kind of vibe. But let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of nuance here. But position number one, we have the Page of Pentacles, lovely earth sign energy. You might be connected to one. So uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if that's not the case, pages represent youth. It represents uh, possible someone that's younger. Um, pages are new energy. They're very fresh. Uh, so they also represent students and communicators. I always say that, especially this one. So for a lot of Leos, you might be sucking up a lot of knowledge, learning new things, filling your brain, diving down rabbit holes. This could be a very good thing. The Page of Pentacles is extremely studious and I really love this energy, but it's also one of the bigger communicators, okay? So whether it's a talk of importance that's coming up or someone that's about to approach you, we're just gonna see what's up because there's just a lot of people. I can't really narrow it down to one thing. Now, when it comes to the challenge of the Page of Pentacles, all pages, they're new and they're fresh. That's why I say it's not the most developed energy. Sometimes this could be a bashful, shy type of energy. Most Leos aren't too shy, right? But this could easily be somebody else. And yeah, just like with aces and offers and stuff like that, if it could be limited time only when we have the page. Now, moving to the center, we have a more developed energy. And I know last week we were seeing metamorphosis and change. Now, this makes sense. Moving from a page to a knight, it's like, okay. This is moving in the right direction. Something's going in the right direction. I really like it. Now, the Knight of Cups, Prince Charming in the flesh, water sign type of energy here. So you might be connected to one Cancer Pisces Scorpio if that's not the case. All Knights represent action and forward movement. So you see, we have this energy sweeping over. It's like, all right, yeah, here we go. We're moving along. This could be really good. This could represent the realm of creativity, artistry. The Knight of Cups is a super silky smooth talker. So, of course, the communication's in play. There could be some talks of importance that could be coming up for a lot of you, especially with this double down here. But again, when I see a lot of people, especially in a Leo reading, your magnetism could be bringing a lot of people in situations your way. So that's something to watch out for. Now, when we get to the challenging aspects of the Knight of Cups, this could represent romance and love and the, your feelings about something. In the reverse, it could be something that you're not ready to let go or something that's emotionally draining to you, uh, not making the progress you want. Now, we'll see when we get to the clarifier, but so far this feels good. Like something's moving in the right direction. It's like, okay, this is, this is going okay. This is moving how it's supposed to go. On to the back end, boom, we have one of the best cards in the whole deck. We have the Ten of Cups, one of my favorites. Emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. We're talking wins, victories, blessings, you name it. We see these people, they're under the rainbow, looks like a happy family. So, of course, this could represent your living situation. This could tell us something about your home and family life as well. Um, yeah, living situations are big with the Ten of Cups, but to me, this is just picture perfect ending because remember tens represent the ending or the end result this is probably one of the best ones in the whole entire deck so i do like it now when we get to the challenge of this of course there are many cups and in tarot cups represent the realm of feelings sometimes this could represent really big feelings whether good bad or indifferent feeling things in a very powerful way so just now your your emotions could be heightened in this time but i'm also picking up this energy of so many people Okay. More so than usual. And I always say Leos are generally magnetic anyway, like at default, but this feels a little extra. I want to dive deeper on all of it. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here. See what's happening for the lovely Leos, please. <clears throat> and yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that page. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Leo, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, page of pentacles. Talk to me. What is this? Okay. 
this is very peculiar. Okay, I feel this is somebody that like might offend another and they're not quite trying to. Okay, now whether that's you or somebody else, when I see Lady Justice in reverse underneath the Page of Pentacles, it's like, oh no, you approached that a little wrong or is someone like either approached or the way they said something, because uh, I do feel like this feels a little more volatile than the Page of Pentacles normally feels. Okay, now this could go a couple different ways. Let's talk about it a little further in depth. Lady Justice is Libra energy. In the upright, could speak about legal situations, contractual things. So watch out for stuff like that, especially since this showed up in reverse. Lady Justice in reverse is a little unbalanced. Yes, she is the karmic card, but I feel like either somebody's taking offense to something or either someone might be a little offensive to you. And this, to me, kind of feels like an overly aggressive type of talk or conversation, which can be a little volatile and explosive. Even though we're not picking up the fire-air combination just yet, like with the page, I feel like someone's approaching something either a little too aggressive or a little too fired up. Okay, I feel like that's the main thing. So watch out for the explosive talks, whether it's someone that steps on your toes or you might step on someone else's. I want to see how it plays out because we have this energy, but this Knight of Cups could definitely smooth it over. That's for sure. So we're going to keep moving. I'm not going to get stuck here. I feel like it's very, very simple. Um, and again, if we start getting more karmic cards, I'll start weaving that into the message because she is the biggest karmic energy like we saw last week. But I feel like somebody, they approached a little too hard or a little too hardcore like it just feels a little too off balance a little volatile let's go i don't want to keep talking it into the ground why is the knight of cups here for the lovely leos thank you queen of pentacles in reverse though huh so more of this earthy energy another individual another person now i will mention this leo um out of all the signs in the zodiac and i know many beautiful leos in my personal life uh, Leos are probably at the top of the list of being the most socially adept people. Leos are generally very good at speaking to people and people speaking to them. Like in a social setting, it's hard to beat someone with very strong Leo placements. But I feel in this time, you might want to take a step back from getting like too um, engaged in group situations. Like you might want to pull back and be in hermit mode a little bit. Because when I see this Knight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, yet again i'm getting this vibe of like all right well the intentions were right but this person like they came off wrong so i'm getting possible miscommunications or somebody that says something they they didn't quite say it the right way so your tongue might get tied in this time either that or it's someone else now another portion of you you might find social interactions and social uh gatherings a little too much in this time like you might be feeling a little claustrophobic if you're surrounded by too many people that's what i'm saying maybe you need some time in nature a little hermit mode time might do you well but again not terrible energy of course we could still have a very good result here on the back end we have both talks here they're both a little volatile in their ways and it's like ah oh, i mean if only it was worded a little differently or if only that person didn't come in so hot and explosive like that's the energy both of them so watch out for miscommunications Okay, whether it's coming from your end or somebody else's. Okay. That's the big vibe I'm picking up here. For a very small portion of you, if you are connected to an earth sign, when I see the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it could be somebody trying to apologize or smooth something over as well. So, I mean, that's a silver lining we could pull from that. But let's keep moving. Let's keep moving forward. There's just so many people. So many people. So let's go in on that Ten of Cups, and then we'll do our recap before we get into the shadow. So why is that 10 here? What's going on for the lovely Leos? Okay. Devil in reverse. Good result. Okay, so this is a bit more long-term energy I'm picking up here. Huge Capricorn vibes across the board if you're connected to Capricorn specifically. Because with the Devil, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, this is all Capricorn energy. I know not every Leo is connected to a Cappy. But Devil in Reverse is good. Now, it, this is something that might take time. Now, I do see a win or a victory in the end. Okay, So for a portion of you, if you're going through a trying time or you're going through tough situations where things aren't ideal, what I'm picking up here on the back end is like, okay, it'll be okay. It'll work itself out, but it's going to take a little bit of time. OK, this isn't something that's going to happen like that, even though we have this explosive talking type of energy in the beginning. This could be an issue or a situation that resolves itself over time. We're not talking about like right this second. So, I mean, just take it and apply it to your story however you will. There could also be something you're overcoming. 
generally when I see the devil, I think of attachments and of course it could represent toxicity and people that are jealous and you name it. There's a whole laundry list of rough things that the devil could mean, but it's slow moving. It's similar to the Hierophant in that way. So when I see it in reverse underneath the Ten of Cups, it's like, okay, you'll get there. Not quite yet, though. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to resolve whatever situation this is. Now, that could be tied into all this miscommunication we have in the front end. Could be something totally different. Um, but again, I'm getting this vibe of overcoming something. So now would be a great time if you're trying to break habits. Like, I see this energy really supporting you any habits you might have, even if it's like overthinking, like if there's a habit or a behavior you want to change, there's good energy for you to do so. So let's go through and do a quick recap here, Leo. Lots of different stuff showing up for you this week, so only take what hits for you. But position number one, if you look here in the box, we have the Page of Pentacles with Lady Justice in reverse. Like I said, yeah, this could be about contractual and legal things. Make sure you're being very careful with that stuff. But of course, I felt like it's somebody like possibly being offensive or doing it by accident, like stepping on somebody's toes. There is a talk where someone either comes in too aggressive, too hot or explosive. And if someone steps on your toes, they might catch your wrath in return. It's like kind of giving me that vibe. So watch out for verbal altercations. Moving to the center, another similar vibe. We have the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And intuitively to me, I was picking up so many people. And although you're probably a very in tune person when it comes to being social, you might want to take a step back and not surround yourself by too many people because it feels a little overwhelming to me. Aside from that, when I see this energy, it could be someone trying to smooth something over as well, but I'm getting miscommunications. On to the back end, we have the Ten of Cups with the Devil in reverse, overcoming something. Um, if you're trying to break habits or behaviors, you could easily do that in this time as well. But I also feel like a situation or an issue might resolve in the long term, like it might take a while and you might have to go through a process. So please take a screenshot if you'd like to look into it further. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. So let's get a good shuffle here for the lovely Leos. What's in the shadows for my good friends, please? Guides and spirit team. And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. And yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, shadow card time. What's in the shadows for the Leos, please? Thank you. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So the card that we led off the main part of the reading with, and surprise, surprise, another individual is here. I feel like this could be spirit saying like, all right, well, brace yourself for that, possibly, whether it's like your tongue getting tied or someone approaching you in an aggressive manner. It's like the second time it's showing up here in a big way. Now, for a portion of you, again, with this as a shadow card, this could represent an, an opportunity opening up for you, like a new path or a new opportunity that you haven't quite seen yet, because usually... This is an extremely positive card. So aside from all the things we're picking up here with the Page of Pentacles, the fact that it's in the shadows, like, oh, wait, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more, which can be very good. So there might be different things opening up for you in this time with the Page of Pentacles. But again, with all these people and all this communication, now might be a good time to have a little quiet time, take a step back if possible. So we're just going to leave that page right there, my friends. That's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the September subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the September subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks of all time, the beautiful Wizard's Tarot. It's gorgeous and it works great. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, where would you like to go for your dream vacation? What are you manifesting? Let me know. Let's bring it to fruition. You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in the community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you again.